Hello and welcome back. All right, so today we're going to be troubleshooting an error connection refuse when trying to reach into a Docker container from an external source. So in a prior video, we deployed a basic Flask server inside of a Docker container. And we're going to try curling that container. And uh-oh, we get curl 7 failed to connect to localhost port 6000 connection refused. All right, so first we want to make sure that everything's running okay. So we'll do a Docker PS, and it looks like, okay, the container is up and running, but we don't see any port bindings here, so that's probably our issue. But uh, we're going to move on and check a couple other things here. So let's log into the container, and we'll make sure that there's nothing going on with our Flask server itself. So we use Docker exec to log into the container. And once we're inside, we're going to do the same curl command and make sure that the server responds. Excellent. Okay, so the server is up and running. It's doing what it's supposed to do. We just can't get to it externally. So let's pop out of here. And we're going to take a look at something else here. Uh, we're going to do a Docker inspect on the container. And we're going to grab the IP address. Okay, so we see that's a Docker IP address, 172.17.0.2. And that's not going to be the same as our host machine. So let's try curling that directly. Very good. Okay, so it does respond if we curl the address directly. It's just not bound to our localhost instance or our loopback address. Uh, so what we need to do is stop our Docker container. We're going to have to remove that instance of the container because we're going to start up another one with the same name, and we don't want a naming conflict to happen. And when we do that, we're going to make sure that we put in our tacp 6000 colon 6000 to link those addresses together. All right, so we'll remove that container out of here. And we don't have to rebuild the container. Everything's okay inside of it. We just need to redeploy it. So we're going to do docker run, set our name, our image name, make sure we bind our ports. Okay, and run. Very good. So the instance is up and running. We're going to go ahead and pop over to a new tab, curl it, and see if we get the response we expected. And we do. Excellent. So now with port binding, it's actually interesting. You don't have to bind the same port, so 6,000 to 6,000. You can actually change that if you want to. So let's close out. We'll remove it, and then we're going to rerun the container, but we're going to bind uh, 4,321 to 6,000. So that way our local machine port 4,321 is going to link to the container port 6,000. And that container is up and running. And we'll verify that curling the 4321 address works. There we go. And we're not constrained, but it's usually uh, easier and wiser to keep the ports consistent between the, the host and container instance. All right, very good. Everything works. We can log out of here. And uh, thank you very much for watching and invite you to check back frequently for new and updated content. Have a great day.